There are probably very few things more devastating for a woman than hair loss. Unfortunately, one out of every four women will experience it in their lifetime. Sure, guys go bald all the time, but when we got a home video from a 26-year-old woman struggling with hair loss, we wanted to find more about Lacey's story. I remember looking in the mirror one day. I did one of the swishes back. When I saw all the thinness in my hair, I, I was terrified something was wrong with me. So I ended up talking to my doctor, and I got sent to a specialist who did an actual scalp biopsy on my head and came back just as female pattern hair loss, and I was only 20. My hair didn't really fall out all of a sudden. When I was younger, I had a huge head of hair. I don't know if I just didn't notice or it was just gradually thinning. If I'm going out with my best friends, I could take up to 45 minutes just messing with my hair. I'll tease it, I'll comb it different ways. There's a full list of things I have used. Volumizers, root lifters, gels, nothing cuts it. I take the Minoxidil twice a day. I've been on that for six years. Maintaining this little amount of hair that I have can be expensive. I've wasted probably four or five thousand dollars, I'd say. I try to joke about it, but it just hurts. I'll say at least I'm thin somewhere, but <laughs> but it really is just a cover-up of how I really feel. I'm terrified of going completely thin where I need to wear a wig. Some days I have such a bad day where I feel there's no hope for it. And every time I look in the mirror, I see it. Every day I'm trying to hide this. Lacey is here with us. Thank you for being here. You know, <laughs> this is common. You know, there's nothing to be embarrassed or ashamed about. We have Dr. Craig Zeering. He's a hair restoration specialist with us. Thank you for being here. You know, this is not that uncommon, is it? No, Lacey, you're not alone. There are over 35 million women in the United States alone who suffer from hair loss. We have an animation to show the difference between the way a male may bald versus a female, because it is different. Yeah, absolutely. The, the most men bald with a discrete bald spot. They often lose from the hairline or a bald spot in the back. But what women do is they maintain the hairline, like you are, Lacey, and then thin diffusely behind it. So what, what exactly, Dr. Zirin, is happening at the level of the hair follicle when we talk about balding and hair loss? What's actually happening in what you're experiencing, Lacey, is the hereditary form. And it's actually a miniaturizing of the hair follicle. So they get weak, wimpy. They lose their color and texture. They just get smaller and smaller and become baby fine. And actually, you don't aesthetically see them anymore. You've got some exciting new technologies that you can use to check the thickness of hair, to check the health of hair follicles. Exactly. So, so show me what that funky machine is you've got right there. Yeah, this is a video microscope. It, it comes with our Revage system. And actually what we can do with this is we can actually look here on Lacey's head. And you can see this is where she's miniaturized and thin and there's gaps in space. Some of the common drugs that men use, Rogaine, Propecia, Etc. Do those work in women? Well, Propecia is a medication that, that is not prescribed for women. Uh, men can use it, but Minoxidil is a topical mm -hmm. therapy that, that many women use. Um, but there's a new exciting therapy out there that, that I think will be extremely beneficial for Lacey. Because not, nothing's worked for you, right? <sighs> but that's why you're here. I know, I know. That's why you're here. I know. Dr. Zirian has brought with him what may be the most promising treatment yet for female hair loss. It's available today. Coming up, we'll show you how this breakthrough new laser works and what you can do at home to treat your own hair loss right now. So are you noticing anything in there? I'm you feel anything? Feeling it burn. You feeling it grow? Yes. I wish there was a fix for this. I would kill for the hair. I try to joke about it, but it just hurts. I'll say at least I'm thin somewhere, but it really is just a cover up of how I really feel. I want help. Hair restoration specialist Dr. Craig Zirian has brought a brand new laser with him to treat Lacey's thinning hair. So I hear some beeping going on. Talk to me about what this laser's doing. Well, this is the Revage 670, and what this is doing is it's rotating 30 diodes in here, and this light is coming down and giving full coverage over her entire scalp right now. 
what you see there is the energy is being absorbed by that hair follicle. That light stimulates the energy, which stimulates cell metabolism, and it also increases blood flow so that the cells can allow the hairs to grow thicker and fuller. So it basically allows an environment for the hair cell or the, the follicle to thrive. Yes, absolutely. So are you noticing anything in there? Um, you feel anything? Feeling it burn. You're feeling it grow? Yes. No. <laughs> it actually is a no. cool laser, so she really shouldn't feel any, any heat mm -hmm. or, or anything happening with regard to that. It's all happening at the, you know, via photostimulation at the molecular level. So how many treatments might she need before she sees an effect from this? She can see a result in as little as four to 16 weeks. Um, our patients at Advanced Hair Growth Centers, what we do is we give patients a full year of treatment. They come two to three times a week, and it's 20 minutes at a time. And how much would a year's treatment be? It's somewhere between $3,000 to $5,000. So let's say she gets a year's treatment, and then Lacey at the end of the year says, okay, I don't want to do this anymore. Will she maintain, or is this laser, does it need to be used for the rest of her life. And you'll want to have some kind of maintenance program, and we offer that for our patients. Sometimes it's once a month, once every three months, and other people come because they, they like hanging out with us at the office and come once every couple of weeks. Well, we actually have a before and after photo of a woman named Shelly who used this very same Revage 670 machine, and it's a pretty impressive difference. And Lacey, I, I want to introduce you to Shelly because she's here in our audience. Shelly, thank you so much for being here. You're basically giving hope to Lacey, right? You're a beautiful woman, and it will work. You just have to be patient. I've been patient for six years, well, and, so I'll and be OK. You remember how we said we brought you here for a reason? Yeah. So the folks at Appear of Science have agreed to give you a year's worth of treatment. Thank you. She's going to get these treatments at the Central Ohio Skin Laser Center. And we also have a gift, the makers of the Hairmax Laser Comb. So this is actually a portable unit that isn't, I don't think, quite as robust as the laser ravage, but you can use this at home in the privacy oh, awesome. of your own bedroom. Thank you. I want to thank Dr. Zirin and especially thank Lacey for sharing your so story, OK? I so oh, wish you the best pleasure. of luck. If you want more information on female hair loss, go to our website, thedoctorstv.com. When we come back, we're tackling another embarrassing problem that affects millions of men as well as women. Take a look at this. From the bedroom to the beach, We've got your breakthrough home remedy to cure your back knee. That's back acne forever. <laughs>